Comfort. The definition of comfort is a state of physical ease and freedom from pain or constraint. Comfort can come in many forms, such as a warm hug from a loved one, a cozy blanket on a cold day, or even maybe just a soft bed to sleep in. Whatever it may be, comfort has the power to soothe you. So come with us as we unveil the secrets of Disney's comfort-filled world and discover how they create unforgettable experiences for their guests, especially at their resorts. We arrived at the Grand Floridian. Let's go inside and check this Disney resort out. All right, so I've actually currently left my parents. I know you guys might be thinking I'm joking, but I left my parents in the bathroom. This is actually Home Alone 7, but here is this Christmas tree. It's looking pretty good. Uh, hopefully no robbers are coming to get me. We're going up these stairs. You know, the kid in Home Alone, he went upstairs. So this really is the seventh movie. They have these gingerbread houses. They didn't have these when we used to live here because of the pandemic, but they are back. It is honestly really cool how they're able to make these big houses out of strictly gingerbread. But we got a piece. We didn't film it, sadly, but it did taste really good. But now it is time to hop on the resort monorail and go to the Contemporary Resort to see the second gingerbread house. We've made it into the Contemporary, as we said. Now we are in the little gift shop, but the gingerbread house, I think, is where we're going to next. So here at the Contemporary Resort, we have another gingerbread house. This is a huge gingerbread house. We actually have right here over my shoulder is the chef. He's here hanging out, talking. Okay, now it is time to travel to the first resort we are staying at, which is the All-Star Sports Resort. As you can see right here on these clips, we have a blast here at the All-Star Sports Resort. All right, so we just made it into our All-Star Resort. We got these two beds. It's looking pretty good. You can see we got a little Disney Resort thing. This music is copyrighted. Here's a little mural of Huey, Dewey, Louie in the news. We got Donald, Mickey, and Minnie. I wonder where dad's at. I'm like Bob Ross. Just painting this canvas. Thank you. There is a hidden dog. Well, our final thoughts on the All-Star Sports Resort definitely had an upgrade since the last time we've been. Definitely highly recommend for that budget Disney Resort. As you can see, we are playing some sports here at the All-Star Sports Resort. So you can do what the theme is. So we just pulled up to the All-Star Sports. Sports. We're actually staying here as you already saw our room tour. Now we're going in to get some ice cream. That's a cool place to check in. We didn't even have to check in now. You can just use the app. It syncs up. When your room is ready, they send you a text. And then you're able to just go right to your room, use your magic band or your phone, go into your room. You don't even have to go to the front desk anymore to check in. It's pretty cool. Such a perfect thing because we're always trying to talk meetings at work and we're always on mute. This is the hand of AC on the go. Wow. What do you have to say, little hand? It's our hand model. It's our hand model. It's our hand. And I'm gonna go get a snack. Maybe we can cut it down a minute. <laughs> What's that? It's not gonna be cold by the time you cut According it. According to my equivalent, say you enjoying that cupcake? Say something important. Something important. So we took a break at Pop Century to stop by the arcade and get a massage in a massage chair. We're about to play arcade games. Now you might be wondering who won this air hockey game. I think it's pretty clear. Now it is time to head to the Riviera Resort. We are in the Grand Riviera. Maybe like a thousand a night. Thousand? Something like that, maybe more. Just found this Disney Riviera mug that I really like. It's a big mug. Oh, check that out. It's heat sensitive and changes colors. How cool is that? If you guys stay at the Riviera, it'll be a great French experience for you guys. Except it'll also be a great French experience because it will empty your pocket. But. It's a really beautiful resort though. Okay. Okay, so we're here at the Beach Club. And yes, they have another gingerbread. Let me show you. How cool. And this gingerbread carousel is all about the princesses. See Belle, Tiana, Snow White, and Cinderella. And then over there is the tribute one to Jasmine. So cool. So after the beach club, we had to come out here to the swings again. You know, that's right. Right here across from the boardwalk. It's really cool out here at night. We were here during the day last time. In a few minutes, we're gonna take a boat over to the boardwalk. Lighten it up. We made it over to the boardwalk. Took a boat over from beach club. Came over here to boardwalk gift shop. We were in the general store in the gift shop checking out merchandise. I really like this mug, this boardwalk mug. But it's like the most expensive resort mug. Oh, you probably can't see that. $22.99. It's cool looking, but I don't know about for $22.99.
Oh, they're back there playing 101 Dalmatians in the background, looks like. All right, so we just arrived in the room. You're at the bayou, Alligator Bayou. It's really nice. I like it a lot. So it's a nice little bathroom. Hey guys, I'm not getting out of bed today. I feel lazy. Okay, it is now time to head out and go back to the lobby of Port Orleans Riverside and head in and check out what their lightsabers look like. So we made it to the lobby here at Port Orleans Riverside, all decked out for Christmas. I'm gonna go check out their general store, Fulton's General Store. This store has animatronics. Do we do a Louie and Donald? Guess who that is over there? <laughs> This is transportation Jordan video. This bike and I can't drive this down. She said, always keep those river to our right. If I gotta drive with you, all right. Look, there's Chip and Dale, guys. Already turned ready for Careful, look both ways before crossing. Unbelievable. <laughs> All right, so we are in the resort of Polynesian, and we are in the gift shop. So this is pretty cool. This luggage that says Mickey Mouse. So we are up here at the Moana. We are up here at the Moana Merchantile. It's not the main gift shop here at Polynesian, but it is a small one. Man, there are a lot of people here at the Polynesian. This is just a line to go to the monorail. Welcome to Coronado Springs. This is where we're going to be staying, right here. <laughs> okay, okay, so... We're, like I said, we're not actually in the tower. We're over where the peasants live, down underneath. So this is our new house. All right, so we are here at Coronado Springs. Not over there, but over here. <laughs> and we are just making our way over there. I want to also rent a bike. So maybe we can rent this bike. Wow, you guys just look at this for a second. This was our resort. Well, I mean, kind of it was. I mean, um, anyways, it's a super nice resort. Highly, highly recommend. All right, so we just made it into the Grand Coronado Springs main hub area, the big tall place. So we're actually walking right now. I'm still trying to figure out where you can get these bikes at. Okay, now we're going into Panchitos. I think that's how you say it, I don't know. But we're going in here. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Okay, so I've actually wandered off again. Now, if you guys can see, I might not be able to get close enough. But over there, there's that lady in the blue. And you can see Dad right in the middle of the screen. Trying to find these bikes. But I'm also pretty sure we're going to rent these bikes tomorrow. So. And as you see here, we didn't get to log all of the resorts that we went to in this video. You can see we went to the Wilderness Lodge. It was really fun. This was during Christmas time, so all the trees were up. We also went to Pop Century, so we got to see Crush the Turtle. But overall, it was a really fun time at these resorts. Plus, it was really fun to go and take Disney transportation and just go and see different resorts that we had either been to before or maybe we hadn't been to without actually having to stay there. And, I mean, all the rooms that we stayed in were really nice. Nice. We didn't get to stay here though at Animal Kingdom Lodge, even though it would have been really cool to see us these animals. But what going around to all of these different resorts taught us is something very simple. And that thing is that sometimes it's just the little things that bring you the most comfort.